hey guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to the another video in today's video i'm going to talk about ios 17.7 and i'm using it for a couple of days so this video is going to be a detailed very important thing the 17.7 gives me a shocking geek bench score so wait for that i will talk about each and everything in this video i will talk about the battery life performance and should you update to 17.7 or you should you should you install 18 i will also try to answer some of the common comments that i am getting from last couple of days so this video is going to be a full fledged about ios 17.7 so let's begin this video so let's go to the settings and let's see how the battery is performing so into the settings let me go to the battery over here let the battery stats load i'm using ios 17.7 from last so many days and i'm enjoying the battery life battery life is quite stable it is better than the 17.6.1 being very honest with you guys so for example if i go on this day as you can see i used my phone for around 75 percent battery over here and i got screen on time of 3 hours and 40 minutes which is quite decent and as you can see using media a lot these apps are completely regarding media and whenever videos are playing or music is playing it consume more battery than the normal usage so according to that and usage for the 75 percent i can say this is a decent uh, battery life it is quite better than the 17.6.1 so if i go on some other day over here maybe this day again over here i used my phone for 75 percent again it is pretty much close to that as you can see but over here i use youtube a lot and youtube can do a lot of battery because of you know media and all this stuff over here i used my phone for around 110 percent as you can see the graph and the screen on time is 4 hours and 53 minutes used instagram safari tiktok updated my all apps over here used x uh, google photos and as you can see this app was running in the background for a very long time and use some other apps too so according to this it is giving me a really decent time it is giving me you can um say that it is giving me four hours and 30 minutes of screen on time for using a hundred percent of my device which is very very decent to be very honest with you guys so in terms of battery i don't have uh, any issues at all i can easily say that this battery performance is much better than the 17.6.1 on that i was not enjoying the battery at all all it is at least 20 percent better than 17.6.1 so in terms of battery life 17.7 is a big thumbs up now let's go to the geekbench score and let's talk about how the performance is going on so going over here going into the geekbench application cpu benchmark cpu history this is the 17.7 uh, as you can see and this is the scores 1352 on a single core while 2917 on a multi core now this is shocking to me because this is quite highest um i never get this much score on this device before i will show you the comparison too but before that let me compare to the average score average scores is 1281 while i'm getting 1352 which means the score of 17.7 is better in the multi-core i have the average score is 2618 and the 17.7 uh, is giving me 2917 which is almost 300 points more than the average one which means again that 17.7 is giving much better score than the average performance which is really really good if i go back and share the a recent score here was 2376 on a single core a uh, multi-core and 1348 on a single core over here you can see 2794 on a um multi-core 2815 on a multi-core 2297 on a multi-core now this score was of i was 17.6.1 that was a really bad score as you can see but over here the multi-core scores are really good this is the highest multi-core score that i get and i'm really happy with this much good score and i think this is enough to say you that 17.7 is a pretty much stable update also i want to show you the build number of 17.7 going into the settings going to the journal going to the about section and over here you can see the build number is 21 age 16 as you can see 
and well other than the geekman score in the normal usage i don't face issues at all sometimes i do face lag while unlocking my device so for example this device is locked completely as you can see i'm just gonna unlock my device so sometimes i feel a lag of these apps coming out but for now i'm not seeing any issue at all while i'm shooting this video you see you just see the lag right you just see the lag let me do again yeah you just see a little bit lag that is the only lag that i'm facing on the 17.7 other than that there are no issues at all everything is going really good i have no issues with the performance at all talking about the changes that you might get from 17.6.1 to 17.7 no there are no changes at such because um, apple already released almost every other feature that was announced in wwdc 23 regarding iOS 17 and now the focus is completely on the iOS 18 uh, features and maybe on the uh, stability improvements and battery improvements of the iOS 17. Other than that, there are no new features coming to the iOS 17. If you want to enjoy new features, you have to update to the iOS 18. I haven't updated to the iOS 18 yet because I want to try out the 17.7 more. I want to make more videos regarding iOS 17 so i haven't updated yet as you can see there is an ios 18 update available that brings a lot of tons of features as you can see but for sure i will update to this very soon maybe next week let's see but for now i am still using 17.7 which address to a very important question many people ask that can they stay on ios 17 or they have to update to the ios 18 well you can stay on 17 if you want to that is completely your choice just like i did i am on ios 17 i haven't updated to the ios 18 yet also many people are asking me that they are using ios 17.3 or maybe 17.2 or 17.4 is it worth upgrading to the 17.7 I think it's a completely worse upgrading because that is the latest update. It is always better to stay on the latest update because of the security reasons and many other reasons. And I think that is completely worth updating. No need to worry about that. Also, when we can expect any other update, maybe some people were also asking me about 17.7.1. I don't know why people need double dot update but i think this is a decent update and it's a big incremental in terms of performance and battery life from the 17.6.1 while when i was using 17.6.1 battery was crap it was really bad um i was getting really annoying phone was getting low just in two hours that was really annoying but since i have updated to the 17.7 for me everything is going really good battery performance everything is really well, fine so this was a small simple review of ios 17.7 i talk about the battery life performance and also mention some of your qu questions so should you update to the 17.7 for sure if you don't want to enjoy new features of ios 18 you can use ios 17.7 but i will get update to the ios 18 maybe in a couple of days or a week We'll see you in my next video. Until then, take care. Peace out.